Well, uh, myself and my boss, we were going to Altoona, Pennsylvania, uh, for a job. And uh, we were going down the highway. And uh, next thing I know, you know, I'm on the receiving end of an accident. Uh, and I went to try to regain control of the bike. Well, at that time, the, the back wheel dropped off the road, which, you know, I had a drop off of the berm. And I rode the guardrail 300 and some feet. I was trapped between the guardrail and the bike. And uh, I went to two hostels before I ended up in Pittsburgh. And I was about a month in Pittsburgh. Uh, and uh, then I was sent to Altoona for you know, a month there. Then I spent about four or five months in a wheelchair. So uh, it messed I'm, up your leg No, no, uh, my whole, whole right. The only thing I was able to use was my left hand. Yeah, uh, they, uh, and if it wasn't for me, I'm an advocate in hel helmet. I mean, I, I believe in no helmets with helmets, okay? I go either way, but yeah, that day I had a helmet. I wear full leathers all the time, full riding gear every time. And if it wasn't for that, you know, I'd have probably been worse or dead. But uh, for, yeah, but. Uh, Do you have any tips for other people? Watch out for idiots. That's the main thing, because I tell you, I have children. They're they're old enough. They're in, you know 30s and 20s. Uh, I know a lot of people. But I tell you, kids today, they're they, they don't have, they don't care. I mean, even coming down here today, I had a guy pull out in front of me. I mean, yeah, you got you got lights and all that, but nobody pays attention. You know. And we have to be on our guard all the time. Yeah, now it's, it's get to, it's, when you ride a motorcycle, I've been riding for almost 50 years. It's, it's a pleasure, it's relaxation, it's enjoyable. You get, you know, enjoy the, you know, the outside, the open air and all that. But you're always on your guard. And we shouldn't be. And the motorcyclist, to me, is one of the, how do you say, the forgotten bunch. Because now you walk into a motorcycle shop, especially a kid, hand them $10,000, you buy a rocket bike, and it makes it, them rocket bikes make it bad for guys who have been riding a long time with full dress motorcycles and all this and, and know how to ride the balls and everything. And these kids don't know, yeah. And so. You recommend the uh, safety course then? Yeah. And I think before you buy a motorcycle, and you have, and I think a motorcyclist, if you're a beginner, they better not sell you a rocket bike. I think everybody should start with a small bike, then when you get good enough, buy a rocket bike. 